And he died doing what he does best, defending the last city of humanity. Ages ago, he saved my life. And then inspired me to save myself. I am glad that he did. Because travel help us. He is gone. And there is no one to save us now. On the day we met, I decided I would follow his example. I'm still, I'm still crying. Welcome back, Guardians. As you likely know, the Corridors of Time puzzle has been solved by the community, which is a puzzle that has you discover your own grave in the Corridors of Time, and this allows you to obtain the exotic fusion rifle, Bastion. Of course, this means we're going to discuss the lore implications of this event. I have heard a lot of people say that this mission is about Saint-14 returning the favour and allowing us to save ourselves, but honestly, I don't think this is the case, and I will show the lore that, in my mind, confirms that our Guardian will still die. We did not change the future with this mission, it's quite the opposite, we actually cemented our death. As you may or may not know, I have a second YouTube channel for games other than Destiny. Thanks for all the crazy support over on the channel. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the description. It'll be the first one. And of course, as usual, the artwork at the beginning of this video was by Gamma Trap. All the Patreon donations go towards paying Gamma Trap for his artwork. A link to Patreon and Gamma Trap socials will be below. This is Mylan Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. So most of the lore I'm going to cover comes from the in-game quest mission descriptions and or dialogue. So let's start when we see our own grave in the corridors of time. Our grave is marked with a sword, and at first I thought it was Ray's lighter, and I said to myself, ha, it seems like Lord Shax finally returned Ray's lighter to us, and all we had to do was die. If you didn't play the Red War campaign, basically Lord Shax pilfered our Ray's lighter during the attack. But... The sword, in fact, matches a sword design in the tower right next to Saint-14. This may actually be a clue that we're going to get a new sword from Saint-14 sometime in the future. Anyway, I think the sword is a bit of a red herring for the moment. When you actually approach the grave, you hear audio from Saint-14. The audio is basically Saint-14 speaking at your funeral. The dialogue is customized based on your achievements and destiny. However, he does say the same paragraph for everyone. He says this, And he died doing what he does best, defending the last city of humanity. Ages ago, he saved my life, and then inspired me to save myself. I am glad that he did, because Traveller help us, he is gone, and there is no one to save us now. On the day we met, I decided I would follow his example. I am still trying. I have marked this grave with one of his favourite weapons, shattered in the final confrontation. It used to be mine. All who find what we've left here, please leave it be. Unless, unless you're still about there somewhere. You've performed miracles before. In which case, take it and come back to us. And we'll kill what killed you, or die trying. Now, I haven't found any law that confirms we actually killed the person or the thing or the being who killed us therefore preventing our death. There is one fallen character called Old Light Killer, but I'll get to that in a sec. I think people were thrown by the last sentence, he says, come back to us and kill what killed you, or die trying. He, he finishes the sentence with, or die trying, and I think we are not at this point in the story yet. So the first bit of important information is that Saint 14 said we actually died defending the last city. We don't know who we were defending it from, but we died defending the city. Now this hints that in Destiny 2 there will be another attack on the city, an attack that has yet to occur, and an attack that we will die in. The next thing that Saint says is that he left our favourite weapon with the grave, and that it was shattered in the final confrontation. Now, I don't believe he's talking about the sword. I'm quite positive Saint 14 is talking about the exotic fusion rifle, Bastion. Because when the dialogue ends, we receive the chronometric weapon core, which begins the Bastion exotic quest. 
so I believe we were using the Bastion weapon to defend the city, we died with the weapon, and it was broken, so Saint-14 buried us with the Shattered Core. This is all really important for this theory. We died with the Bastion exotic weapon defending the city at a future event that is yet to take place. So we then take the chronometric weapon core to Saint-14. He tells us that he's detecting a signal in the Tangle Shore, a signal that matches his light and the chronometric weapon core perfectly. Saint-14 says this, The signal is weak, but aligns perfectly with the frequency of Saint-14's light from the sundial and your newfound chronometric core. It cannot be me, I am here, Saint laughs nervously. So following this, you head to the Tangle Shore, and you try and work out why everything has the same signal. Being typical Guardians, we decide to kill the Fallen to see if we can pick up any clues from their comms. So killing Fallen give us the Fallen Intel. The Fallen Intel reveals a name, Old Light Killer. We promptly visit the spider in the Tangled Shore, and he tells us the location of the Fallen, nicknamed Old Light Killer. Killing the Fallen, Axinix, nicknamed Old Light Killer, in the Tangled Shore, continues the questline. I do not think that this is the Fallen who killed us, because the timing is all wrong. He's already got the nickname Old Light Killer, and we're still alive at this point. So he's killed other Guardians, but he hasn't killed us. So moving on, it seems that we get a note off Axinix's body that we need the spider to translate. Now I believe at this point, Axinix or one of the other Fallen have already stolen Bastion off Saint-14. So the Fallen have already acquired the weapon Bastion in our current time, and we are now tracking the signal through the Tangled Shore. The reason why we can track it is because we found the chronometric core, which is technically the same weapon. They are the same weapon from different times. We find the chronometric core from the broken bastion from the future, which was on our graveside, and we are now tracking the current bastion in our timeline using the signals to match each other. And the current bastion in our timeline was stolen by the Fallen from Saint 14. I really hope you're with me. I know it's confusing. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. So the classic Guardian behavior continues. We basically have to go and kill a bunch of Fallen again to persuade some of the Fallen to reveal a Fallen burial site. The burial site of the Fallen who we think had the Bastion last, who stole the weapon from Saint-14. We are hoping that investigating the Fallen burial site will help us track where the Bastion is. The spider says this, Ah, my Guardian. Spider's eyes linger on your mud-covered boots trailed by soil-cracked tracks. An uneven hiss spews from his rebreather as he gestures for a guard to bring the stained note in your outstretched hand. I trust your meeting went well? Oh, it wants the gun. Spider produces a tittering giggle. Of course you do. He agrees to find the burial site for you, but needs your persuasive flair course, we go and kill a bunch of Fallen, and this persuades them to reveal the Fallen burial site. After we investigate the Fallen burial site, the signal aligns and reveals that the Fallen who has the Bastion weapon is now Scorn, i.e. he stole the Bastion weapon, he died, and then was revived as a Scorn, and he still has the weapon. The mission description reads, your investigations have aligned. An old weapon belonging to Saint-14 was recovered by a Fallen long ago. That Fallen, buried in the Tangle Shore, has been twisted into a Scorn Chieftain. Light signal must be coming from his old weapon. Okay. So now we know that the Chieftain has the weapon Bastion. So after we track down and kill the Scorn Chieftain, we receive the weapon frame Bastion, and then we return the weapon to Saint 14, and then Saint 14 inserts the weapon core, which restores the weapon. Saint 14 says this: "You've returned Saint 14's old fusion rifle, Bastion, to him. He fiddles with the rifle briefly and sets the damaged connections straight with the component you had. The rifle hums to life." He thanks you for finding the source of his light, and laments that this weaponry was used against guardians. Never again, he whispers, before handing the gun back. Now here is the really cool part. Saint 14 says that they stole the weapon from him, and used the weapon against other guardians. If you read the Law Tab Bastion, it reveals that the Fallen has killed five guardians with this weapon. Have a listen to the Law Tab of the weapon, it reads. 
My son, you are a bastion of hope for all who are lost in darkness. Let this consecrated armament offer protection in times of trial, strength when you feel most alone, and guidance when there are no roads. Your light will shine on to lead our people into peace. Let this be a symbol of our dedication to their future. Know that I am proud. Father, the epitaph is barely readable, appearing to have been scraped almost clean from the frame. Below the stricken words, five hash marks are engraved into the weapon. A small etching in Elixni reads, Dead Little Thieves. So, the fallen who had stolen the Bastion scratched off the message from the speaker and wrote a kill tally and then put the words, Dead Little Thieves. Now, we can't be certain, but the references to thieves might be a reference to guardians trying to get Bastion back off the fallen. Okie doke, we have covered a lot, so let me try to summarize this in a very short paragraph. We find our own grave in the corridors of time. Same 14 left the chronometric weapon core at our grave, which is the weapon core from Bastion in the future. This allows us to track the signal of Bastion in our current time. We discover the fallen who stole it off Saint 14, we recover the weapon, and then Saint 14 restores the weapon to full working order. Now, if all of this is correct, we can actually predict the future. The weapon is now working, and at the very beginning of the video, Saint 14 says that we died defending the city with our favorite weapon. So technically, another war must occur upon the city, and we will die, and we will die with Bastion in our hands, the gun we just created. We have to, because if we don't die, then Saint 14 will never bury us with the Bastion Core, and if he never buries us with the Bastion Core, we can never make this weapon, but we have already made the weapon. We just did it, which means we must die in the future. <laughs> oh, Tommy, why me stuff? So that's why I think uh, we still have to die in the future of Destiny. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you would like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the word Bastion to represent, in my opinion, the weapon that we will die with. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.